What's going on, my tapped out fans? It's your boy, dirty boy. We are putting the valve covers on today. Um, yeah, I'm not taking none of this off. I am gonna gotta get a little bit uh, over here, but I want to uh, put the valve covers on. So. It looks like the valve cover gasket was replaced at one time and they left some of the remnants. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I've seen a lot of GM heads. A lot. And there's all kinds of funky ass shit I've seen on GM heads. Um, but this one here has a damn lightning bolt on the heads. Is that common for these motors? For the IROX? Let's see if I can get y'all in here. See right there? That's a weird shit. Usually it just says GM there. I've never seen one that had that. I had a uh, 263 small block was it 263 yeah, I think it was a 263 um, it had something like that but on the front of the heads and it's supposed to have been like the more high performance head for the 60s um, yeah it's just weird but, uh, really clean inside here and I'm going to the gasket Looks like it's been, I don't know, replaced 30 years ago. But I'm going to try, since there's nothing wrong with the gasket, it's already pre grooved and everything. I just heard that thing leaves, so that's awesome. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, sorry about that, I had to, uh, wanted to open my door and then I realized that I couldn't open my door with the damn valve cover off and I'm on the dirt getting in the motor. Uh, they had to empty the septic tank for the convenience store that's next door to me. Uh, luckily it wasn't here very long after I got here. No guys, I kinda dig it. I kinda dig it. After we get uh, the valve covers on, we are going to finish and get the exhaust off of here. And uh Oh crap. I gotta run back to my house. I forgot to get a tool. To take the uh, power steering pump off of this, which uh, I ended up figuring out a couple things on this. But I want to get the valve covers on first, so we don't get no crude in the motor. the uh, third gen junkies uh episode this morning of that uh, chrome spray paint that is some pretty nifty stuff right there uh, i never really had any luck with uh those types of spray paint but uh i'm almost definitely going to try that stuff um Let me find a ratchet. I'll be right back. All right, took me a while to figure out where a ratchet was at. Yeah, that still looks better. Oh, oh man, I tell you what. 
There's a certain peanut butter candy that's circle. And they make a lot of this candy. But man, it should be illegal for them damn things to be so good. Ugh. Back, got the other valve cover on. It was a little harder than you think. Ah, uh, but got it on there. Mix it box. Have a Christmas green in it. I didn't realize that about it. Black pocket. We don't need this damn bracket here anymore. Wow. Take nothing to take that off. Take this bracket off. Put this stud back in here. There's the bracket. Another bracket bites the dust. Ooh, this motor's gonna run so much better.
Alright guys, got the finally got the damn thing loose. But this fucking thing right here is a lock that was on the very back of the damn motor. I had to actually clamp a pair of vice grips down to break this loose. Now these little tabs right here you can see was pushed all the way into this boat from factory. Now I know it's for factory because I mean I don't yeah, I don't see anybody ever touching this. But uh, this is my thing, guys. You would think that they would have these bolts tight before they would put the lock on. These bolts were so fucking loose that I could literally take them out with my fingers. And that's factory. Now, right, guys, I'm going to climb up underneath and get the exhaust pipe underneath there. And uh, pretty soon we're going to be putting the top of the motor together. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. What's going on, son of a bitch? That was a fucking nightmare. I got a question to ask y'all guys out there, uh, especially third gen junkie. I bet y'all know this uh, this question. When these Camaros came out of factory, did they or did did they not have exhaust manifold gaskets? Because I mean, I'd be really surprised if these exhausts ever been taken off. But guys, there is no exhaust manifold gaskets on these damn cars. There's none. There's no exhaust manifold gaskets. So, my question out there, man, I have scuffed the shit out of this paint. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fucking just take those back off and get some better spray paint. Yeah, might have to do that. But yeah, there is no uh, exhaust manifold uh, gaskets at all. And then I had, uh, oh, where is it? I had this weird fucking thing, this, fall out in my damn hand. And I thought it was uh, a temperature sensor, but it's there. I don't see any fucking thing else it could be. I thought maybe it would be a sensor on here. I don't see no sensor on there, and then I had a, uh, let's see here, yeah, this little thing, this little thing right here, thing of it is, it doesn't look broke, so this thing looks like it goes into something, but, uh, there we see the hell not nothing here, oh, I seriously doubt that's important anyways, but yeah, let me know, because uh, there is no exhaust manifold gaskets on these. But man, I sure do like it now, or how I can see the starter. Alright, I still got fucking forever to go here. I'm going to start taking that smog pump off now. I want to be able to work on this car easy. And uh, I'm taking the damn oil cooler off of here. I'm going to save it, because the numbers on this car does say it comes with an oil cooler. But, come on guys, that damn thing, there's no fucking way that that thing cools anything. So, I'm going to get get rid of that. That's the that dumbest ass design ever. Not going to put that back on here. Um, if I did put an oil, oil cooler on this car, it would be a correct one. Not whatever the fuck they thought that was. Alright guys, I'm going to get over here and keep on going. Man, y'all guys didn't tell me how hard that shit was to take off. That was a mother of all mothers. But uh, got it off of here. We are making it look like a Chevy 350 again. Um, then you take off that bracket down there. This bracket here goes with the alternator, so that stays. And I still don't know. I've looked all over this damn motor, guys. I still don't know where the hell that goes to I mean it had that one piece in it but it don't go nowhere on the uh, oil filter uh, I want to tell you what guys for a car that's been only on the road for eight years before it got wrecked this damn thing right here I don't know it just seems like that if this if Chevrolet did all this to this car I uh, know why Chevrolet is a shitty manufacturer. Cause this thing is insane. How much 
just crap that is loose on here. Wires that don't go to no place. I mean, this car was only on the road for eight years. That's it. Surely this car did fall down that hard in eight years. All right. Still getting to it. I'm going to take a break for a minute. All right, guys. I got the door up here and shit. And uh, got it all stripped off. Do y'all know anywhere else where they make um, spray cans of the... Uh, color match the car because I'm telling you this perfect match dupla color sucks I mean look it's fucking guy I shook the shit out of this shit and look got fucking paint all over my goddamn floor just drips every fucking where this is 10 bucks a can it ain't worth a fuck this is the second color I got a Mercury Marquee, the maroon, the Ford maroon, same fucking thing. I mean, look at this, just fucking dripping all over me. What the fuck, Dupa Color? Matter of fact, I'm gonna call Dupa Color tomorrow. What is it, tomorrow, Friday? This is enough of this shit. Let me know, guys, if there's another company that I can call even in order to look. This is a dripping fucking everywhere. Duplicolor sucks. Look at that shit. Brand new can. Just bought it yesterday. Fucking bullshit. Look, it just drips everywhere. Look at that. It just drips fucking everywhere. What fucking crap? So look, I'm gonna have to find another something else because I'm not I was actually gonna buy dupli color to paint the whole car but look at this shit what that what the fuck dupli color man y'all got some lousy ass paint I thought y'all were better than this I mean I thought maybe that damn back that uh, my buddy got and everything I thought his shit was uh you know, I thought since it was maroon, you know, fucking, uh, for a Mercury Marquee, I thought, man, baby, you know, look at this shit dripping all in my fucking window. Man, dupe color, I thought y'all were better. Look at this fucking shit. Can't fucking use this. God fucking damn. What fucking horrible ass paint company? Fuck Dupa Color. Fucking look at that all over my fucking window. Man, I didn't want to use this fucking fucking goddamn Dupa Color to suck a fucking dick. You got that fucking, oh, I'm fixing to blast your fucking ass. I'm not using this. This shit's too fucking expensive. All right, guys. I'm going to have to fucking get up off of here and stuff like that. Um, one thing I know is fuck duple color. So, that fucking sucks. I wanted to get this door painted. I got to get the fucking, at least the damn, uh, Fucking metal goddamn. This is fucking bullshit. Fuck dupa color. Second fucking time. This shit was eleven dollars a can. What a crap fucking shit. 
man. Shit's doing damn sure back tomorrow. Fuck. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this day. It's about to. I'm gonna have to stay in that door and get the paint off the fucking uh, window. So I catch y'all later. Guys, yeah, guys. I'm so pissed off at this. Look at this shit. All over the fucking place. All over the fucking holes, all over the floor. And look, it didn't even cover this worth a shit. All over the goddamn window. Look at this fucking can. Bought it yesterday. Got the proof. Man, if anybody knows anybody that works for Dupacolor, tell them fucking Dupacolor sucks. Alright guys, this is Dirty Boy getting the fuck out of here. Remember guys, keep it dirty. I am just extremely pissed off right now, Dupa Color. I ain't just fucking eleven dollars a can. You know, I, I fucking don't have the money and stuff like that to spend eleven dollars a can for fucking paint. But you know I wanted to do this door right and Dupa Color fucked me over. Once again, Dupa Color, you suck.